We've been talking about going hunting this for is, years. This, is great. this dude owns a ranch and all of that. I can't get an invite. Can't do it. But a flex is one of my, my kid, one of my kids' favorite players. First so off, now I feel like I'm on a schedule. I'm there, so whenever you're ready to come, let me know. Y'all heard that. Why haven't you got why hasn't he gotten the invite? He got an open invite. He just showed up to the front gate. Use your microphone. Fletcher. Oh, he got an open invite. He just showed up to the gate. I feel like Tori is somebody who wants to be invited to things, but also is so busy, he will never come to anything. He's going to blame it on the kids every time. Yes. Every time. <laughs> every time he blames it. But you can't, but that's the perfect thing to blame it on. Like, I'm kids, family, community, above everything. Then he doesn't have time to come. Well, if the fishing is really good, like, if the fishing is good, where he at, he ain't coming. So isn't, if you wait when the Lane fishing Johnson is good. Isn't Johnson a big fishing guy, too? Lane, Lane is Lane, a big yeah. fisherman. Lane hunts, too, though. And you guys have gone together? Me and Lane, we hunted, uh... They just went. We actually, yes, That's we what I'm saying. Went. Yeah, we They just oh, went. Yeah. Just, They're two hours from me, by the way. Well, like, I imagine, I don't want to know about hunting, but I imagine going hunting, you get dirty, and then you well, have to clean your laundry, Fletcher. Oh, we have laundry. to clean our laundry. I'm helping you. I'm leading you to water. Drink, Fletcher. I know. Hold on. You didn't give me... All right. So, when we go hunting... Like, right? We only use one product at my house, Todd, because I trust Todd, and you should too, all right? I, I do, I trust. You do? I do. All right, just so you know now, right. Todd can tackle any pile, not too big or not too small, Tory Smith, so I'm just letting you know that, you know. I, I saw you came with it. Like you, you, I brought you, it with me. You got it ready. I, well, I got to go check it out, so I got to, you know, I, you don't want to know what's in here, so I got to keep it a secret, <laughs> you know. I, I took the bathrobe from the from the hotel. Are you, uh, are you in a from commercial the hotel. with your fellow Eagles? I am. I was Tell in a me. commercial uh, right before the season with uh, Jason Kelsey and Jordan Mulatto. So Ty was showing, you know, of they course. took all the skill guys out of the way and they, they showed some big guys some love under a pile. Sorry, you know. And, you know, it was fun, though. We spent about uh, about eight hours, um, you know, just, you know, just working with Todd. And, um, you know, um, obviously the commercial is very funny. Um, so, but you know, now they got you walking time. around Radio Row with a big sack of laundry. Hey, I'm okay with that. Okay. I told you it's it's my bathrobe out of the out of the hotel room. So hopefully that the the stewardess, you know, hopefully she don't, you know, what, Tori? Did, missing. Did you mention that the Eagles have the most popular big fellas in the league? They do, and I love them all. I mean, just national attention. I love you got him. Fletch. He's all on TV. That's why he doesn't respond to calls anymore. Um, oh wow. Then you have Jason Kelsey, who is the president of Philadelphia. Uh huh. Right? You have Prison. guys on. Hey. Y'all have singers. We do. Y'all have everything. Overall talent, the Eagles take it. Myalada. Yeah. Brandon yeah. Graham's yeah. always good for some good sound bites. Easy. Love it. The greatest trash talker in the, the history I of the game, him. Brandon Graham. I can't, oh, yeah. He's going to hop onto some media <laughs> the second he's done if he feels like it. Uh, this, I'm going to ask you some fill in the blanks. Impromptu, off the dome. Super Bowl 58 will come down to. Turnover battle. And who will win the turnover battle? Blank will win the turnover battle. <laughs> Kansas City. You have Kansas City in this game. I root for Chris Jones and Willie Gay, Mississippi State. Okay, we love to hear that. Um, the future of the uh, Fletcher Cox with the Eagles is day by day. <laughs> We're gonna take it day by day. Dang it, day, uh, show us those So uh, the future with me is uh, you know just day by day. Nothing I've thought about, but uh, you know just take it day by day and see where I, see where I am. You're out there hunting, setting traps. You're not thinking about your future with the eagles? Well, we, let's not call it hunting. We harvest animals. So okay. that's a better term, harvest. Okay, animal harvesting. Yeah, we har harvest yes. animals. What's so if you say hunting, we eat, killing. We eat them. You, he'll, he'll tell you. What's his future with the eagles? Bright. <laughs> <laughs> When you, when you guys were cleaning out the locker room, it was never a fun day, right? Nostalgia, all this, you're leaving. What was it like between you and Jason Kelsey and everybody? Well, I don't think, I think that Jason's got probably four times the stuff I had in my locker. His stuff is like way out in like the middle of the locker room. So I guess people send him stuff all the time, you know? <laughs> um, and, you know, my locker, I got a few things hanging up in there. I only had to, you know, get a few things out. But, um, and, uh, but it's always, it's always weird. Uh, cleaning out the lockers, especially knowing how good of a team we we, we was at you know during the during the regular season. So you know it's always tough. Has your new DC texted you? No, I haven't heard from Vic. Uh, I did talk to um, Coach Hurts. They, they had, had had the D line coach, so uh, I did. He did give me a ring. You know, I respect him. Uh, actually, I already had his number in my phone, so I knew he was calling me. Do you think Brock Purdy is a, a great quarterback? I think he's. A, I respect him. You know, he's one of the top two quarterbacks in the league right now. I mean, he's in the Super Bowl, and you know, um, all the other, you know, thirty quarterbacks are. You know, they'll be like me and Tori sitting on the couch, you know, watching. But I'll probably be out hunting somewhere, so it won't matter to me. I had Devontae Smith and AJ Brown on my show. They were very quiet, but I asked them sort of what happened this year, and they both said we just ran out of time. 
like it got bad and then as it was getting better, it, we ran out of time. What do you, if I asked you just plainly, what the F happened this year, what would you say? You really can't put your finger on what happened, right? You know, it's things started to, to go that wrong. It's hard to believe that's true. You know, things started to go wrong and then it just like kind of dominoed, you know. And let's be honest, like, you know, I just spoke about it. You know, we really, all year, we willed our way to win games. And, you know, when we was willing our way to win those games, you know, in the back of my head, I'm like, man, like, if we can find, we're finding ways to win these tough games, like, somewhere down the season, they're going to be a break where we can beat it, be up by, you know, 14, 17 points with 16, you know, with six minutes um, to go in the fourth quarter. But it just, it didn't go that way this year, you know. You know, last year we were blowing teams out, let's be honest, you know. Um, you know, defense, you know, we were getting turnovers. You know, that's something that, you know, I think that we didn't do a really good job as a defense this year was getting turnovers and giving our offense, you know, those extra possessions. Um, and that, you know, obviously, you know, that's that, that's the thing. But, you know, you really can't put your hand on what went wrong. We just know, like, it all went wrong. There was no, like, locker room issues. Everybody loved each other. But it was just, you know, we just, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I've been asking, I know Tori's like, don't look at me. I've asked him. It's hard to believe that there's not something to point there's, to. There's, I'm, I'm telling you. Because it's, not, it's about consistent, it's about being consistent, yeah. right? And this week it may be one thing, next week it may be the other. Like the margin of error and really the difference between winning and losing in the league is so small. Like regardless of the 60 minutes that happens, you can find four or five plays that you say, hey, if one guy would have done this, on this one play, this would not have happened. Mm -hmm. That's the beautiful part about the team sport, but that's also the difference between winning two to three games yeah. and being in a better position or having your team have that momentum. Because like you mentioned, they were hot earlier, but they were in battles. The year before, they were just stomping on people. Yeah. And so until you kind of get that flow going, now again, it doesn't matter if you're winning, right? But that, that groove that they hit the season before, it didn't really happen. And I like the idea of saying run out of time, meaning that didn't get it to that point where you got hot and it seemed like they were hot early and fizzled late, and you really kind of need that push late to really keep going on through. I feel like there are some people who everyone loves it. Look, the two, the two quarterbacks in the National Football League that are in the Super Bowl, people tear them down and poke their holes. People are starting to make a case for Jalen Hurts being looked at differently than what he was. What would you oh, say man. to those people? I think Jalen played good, you know. Obviously, you know, I mean, we got to look at, you know, at, at, at a couple of things where, you know, Jalen is still a young quarterback, you know. You know that's, I think this is what, that was his third year, like, being a full-time starter. Wild. I mean, you got to look at those type of things. And, you know, I know a lot of people don't want to hear that, ah, oh, he just got paid, like this, that, and the third. But, you know, he's still in the learning phase also, you know. You know, I remember going into my third year uh, or, or as, as a starter, you know, it's still that, still got that learning curve where, you know, you still got to learn, you know, so many things and right. so much. But, you know, as a quarterback, uh, it's, it's got to be hard. You know, I think it's three or four times, you know, the pressure that I have on me as a defensive lineman because, you know, I can make a mistake and it won't get noticed until the film turn on on Monday, but he can make a mistake in the whole world. The whole world can see it. But, I mean, you got to, you know, I respect Jalen as, as a person, as a leader. And, you know, and, it, and the biggest thing is, you know, you get the same guy every day. Hey, Nan. Uh, I'm hearing him talk. <laughs> <laughs> and it drives me crazy that we're discussing Jalen Hurts. As I just a wanted to let him speak. No, because it's not it. for you. Yeah. Like this is like a, a narrative all the way around. Jalen Hurts, prior to this season, was in the MVP conversation for two years. Hundred percent. And now we have fans and media folks questioning: Is he the guy? So you mean to tell me you can be? I think the question is more what went wrong, and then you right away that the no, it's not that. No, I no, be getting think? tweeted. Okay, I, they okay. be killing me on Twitter now. Okay. I, they kill me on Twitter <laughs> now. I hear it. But I think Jalen is a guy that, again, similar to Brock Purdy, like we talked about. Can you win because he's your quarterback? Yeah. And the answer is yes. And the Eagles were almost Super Bowl champions last year because Jalen was their quarterback. You got to look at the guy, though. He's a winner. Okay, you guys, we can talk in the break because our breaks are live on YouTube, so don't say anything crazy. We're going to take a short break here. We've got Burt Kreischer coming on. Derek Brooks is on the show. We've got Tide Laundry for Fletcher Cox, and he was singing Day by Day. That's the future, day by day. I have no voice. I think if, if I had it's to go have a lot of here. 